Something feels off. Hmm. Much better. Mistakes. We all make them, we can't avoid them, and some of us might be on an unknown watch list somewhere because of them. The mistake I want to focus on today is the Bible. No, I'm not talking about whether it was a mistake. I just want to talk about a misprint. So apparently the Bible is kind of a big deal, which makes the mistakes I'm talking about today even worse. That mistake would be the Wicked Bible, published in 1631 by Robert Barker and Martin Lucas. The error occurs in the Ten Commandments, arguably the most famous part of the Bible, or at least the part I remember from history class. In case you're just like me and forgot the specifics, I'll just read the Ten Commandments to refresh your memory. You can only worship one God. You can't make idols of God. You can't say his name in vain. You have to go to church on Sundays. Honor your parents. You can't kill. You can commit adultery. You can't steal. You can't lie. And you can't covet. Notice anything? I forgot to censor this gun over here. Can't have that on YouTube. Also, adultery was allowed. In the printing of the Wicked Bible, the knot was left out of the Seventh Commandment, making cheating not only allowed, but encouraged. Also, considering the fact it was discovered one year later, I can only imagine the amount of shenanigans that secretly happened until then. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt commit adultery. I always knew this was true. Honey, I'll be back! What makes this even more interesting is that it might have been intentionally done, as there was another mistake in the book. That being, Behold, the Lord our God hath shewed us his glory and his great ass. I know this seems bad, but... Nope, that's horrible, nope. This might have seemed like a case of the printers not proofreading before printing, but given the size of the mistakes, I consider this part of a conspiracy. There's a theory that the mistakes were purposely put there by someone else in order to get rid of Robert Barker and Martin Lucas's royal printing license. Not only that, but this might be a part of a huge conspiracy. I, m I mean, a conspiracy that's not my job to talk about. You know what, let's just move on from this part. Although the Wicked Bible was one of the bigger examples of Bible misprints, there are a few other examples with equally cool names, such as the Murderer's Bible that told people to let the children first be killed instead of filled, or the Owl Bible which told women to submit to your owl husbands. The moral of the story? I don't know. I swear, something inspired me to make this video. I'm just not sure. I can't put my finger on it. Well, I guess we'll never know.